You may be aware here on the channel that I've reviewed many strange and unique stove systems. Stoves that are very different from the majority of products that are out on the market today. I like products that are unique and I know you all do too and that's why I'm here today. My name is Luke, this is the Outer Gear Review. Thank you very much for tuning in. What I have here today inside of this case is a very interesting product. A product that you likely have not seen before. This is a unique stove. It's a strange stove, and at the same time, it's a very inexpensive stove. At the time of filming, you could purchase this stove for $11. It's like $11.28, but you know what I mean. For $11.28, you receive the storage box, you receive the stove itself, and you receive a butane gas canister adapter. That, my friends, is very impressive for $11.28. <laughs> One, two, three burner heads. How about that, everybody? Have you ever seen a backpacking compact camp stove that has three burner heads? Here you have the sparking end of the igniter, and this will ignite all three heads. With this stove, you can see that you have a very long hose. This attaches to your isobutane canister, but let's say that you wanna run butane. You can use this. This attaches here, and then you attach the butane to it. Here you have the adjuster, on and off. Focusing on the stove body, each of the pot supports and the legs unfold, just like so. Here is the electric igniter that I was talking about. Looking down on the stove itself, now that the legs are spread apart and this is stable, you have large pot supports with jimping at the top. You have a windscreen that goes around each of the burner heads. And folks, that is the three-headed dual fuel camp stove. While you're looking at the top of the stove, you may have noticed a lack of logo. I too have noticed this. Now, just in case you're wondering what the brand name of this product is, this is from a company called CLS. I have no idea what that stands for, but this is the box. Three head stove, stainless steel, enjoy with the nature. <laughs> it's a little funny. When it comes to the three burner head stove, this is just one company that's going to be making this product. In fact, there's likely a manufacturer that's not CLS who is making this, and they're just slapping a different logo on the box. So this is the CLS version. With the stove here, it will run on one of two fuels, isobutane or butane. With the three heads, this offers a max Max performance of 23,000 BTUs. The weight of the stove is 9.7 ounces. The weight of the stove and the case is 12.1 ounces. The weight of the stove, the case, and the butane adapter, 13.8 ounces. The weight of the case, 2.6 ounces. The weight of the adapter by itself, 1.7 ounces. As far as the case goes, it is 5.9 inches by 5.9 inches and it's three and a half inches tall. When the stove is all set up, it is 5.9 inches wide at the widest and it stands 3.3 inches tall. And lastly, when it comes to the hose, it is 21 inches long. Before we do a quick boil test, let's talk price. I've already mentioned that you can pick this up for $11.28, but that's not the full story. That's the cost of the stove with the butane adapter. Let's say that you wanna purchase the stove all by itself. It's only $9.78. These are the prices that I found for this stove on AliExpress. There is a version of the stove made by a different company than CLS available on Amazon, but the price is substantially more. It's around $34. It does include some additionals, but I'm not sure if they're really worth the extra price. For $9 or $11, depending on the configuration, I think that makes a lot of sense here. Also folks, I can't comment on the Amazon version of this stove. I haven't tested it, so I can't say whether or not the quality is as good as this one.
That was 16 fluid ounces of water in three minutes, 25 seconds in real world conditions. Temperature wise, 55 degrees today and windy, very windy. The wind was influencing not only the stove itself, but it was also cooling down the gas canister, which was impeding performance. In truth, everybody, to boil 16 ounces of water in three minutes, 25 seconds in windy conditions, that's a good result. You all should have been able to see there just how well the windscreen works. In windy conditions, the wind will blow some heat away. Also, it will cool down the gas canister, but yet a lot of that heat was coming into contact with the kettle itself. By the way, everybody, I forgot to mention this. There is a second version of this stove that features one large burner head in the center. It offers basically half as much BTUs as this stove here and is a few dollars less expensive. Which stove would I personally choose? This one right here. Three heads is definitely better than one. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Some of the things I've said on this channel, folks. <laughs> now that you've seen the stove in action, let's go over my thoughts and opinions of the stove so far. Now know this, I'm not done testing out this product. In fact, I've only taken it out on two trips. I wanted to test it out in a wide range of different conditions and situations. But so far, based upon my experiences with this stove, these are my thoughts. The overall design of this is very similar to other products out on the market. The exception is, is that you have three burner heads. Because it has three burner heads, it offers double the BTUs of most stoves. Now the question is this, does it really matter? Do BTUs really matter? And the answer is no, not really. Not in real world conditions because most people don't care if it takes three minutes to boil 16 ounces of water or four minutes. It's all about the easy use of the stove, the design of the stove, and how it makes your camping experience easier and funner. As far as the quality goes of the stove, it is excellent. There's no sharp edges, nothing like that. It's a very well-made product. At the same time, once the legs are fully unfolded, it's very stable. The igniter has worked every single time that I've used it. The adjuster is excellent. You can go all out or you can simmer, and it's easy to find a balance in between the two. I will say this, this is a larger stove, and it's good for medium the large size pots. If you plan to use very small cups on this stove, they may not work, such as the MSR Titan. This is a very small cup and it does not fit on this stove. Something to consider here is that this stove puts out a ton of heat and a ton of flame. So using small cups, pots, pans on this stove doesn't make sense. So with the MSR Titan cup, even if you could get it to fit, the flames would engulf the entire cup and go up the sides, making it impossible to grab the cup after you're done heating up whatever it is that you're heating up. Because of that, this is good for medium sized pots, cups, pans, and larger. In real world conditions, the performance of the stove is excellent, especially if you can put up a windscreen and keep the fuel warm. As mentioned before, the integrated windscreen works very well. The butane adapter also works with no issues. I have tested that out. And you can use that adapter with other stoves, as long as the stove accepts multiple fuel types. Speaking of which, everybody, the fact that this stove runs on two different fuels is awesome. In the summertime, in warmer conditions, you can run inexpensive butane. In the fall and in the winter, you can run isobutane, specifically a wintertime mix. It's nice to have that dual functionality, especially with a stove that costs less than 12 bucks. That's amazing. The hose is very long and the quality is good. That way you can basically get the fuel canister away from the stove itself. So you don't have to worry about any sort of issues there. Weight wise, it's not bad, but there's definitely lighter stoves out on the market. Size wise, it is a little bit large, but it's not terribly so. Overall, as far as size and weight goes, I have no real complaints. But again, if you wanna go lighter and smaller, there's definitely options out there that can suit you better than this. Lastly, my friends, I would say that the hard case here is nice. This is a good quality case and it will protect your stove. Those are my thoughts of this stove so far based upon my testing. So far, I really like what I see here, especially for the price. The biggest issue in my opinion is the fact that you have to purchase this on AliExpress. That's where I purchased mine. You might be able to find a similar stove on Timu, I have no idea. But basically what I'm talking about here is purchasing from one of those Chinese sites. There is a version of the stove on Amazon, but it costs quite a bit more than this one here. Plus, I haven't tested it out and I cannot say whether or not there's any differences. So if you purchase that one, hey, that's on you. I have no idea about it as of right now. Now it's your turn to sound off in the comment section down below. Share your thoughts. What do you all think about this stove? What do you all think about the three burner heads? Based upon everything that I've shared on Patreon, on YouTube with the Wolfpack, the members that support this channel, everybody likes this stove. Everybody's excited to see how well this turns out because this is very promising. And at the same time, it's very unique, very different. And anything different, in my opinion, is good. My plan is to continue testing out this product and I will be back with a review in the future. Make sure to stay tuned. Hit the like button before you go, subscribe as well. And if you wanna support a channel that's agenda-free, that's all about information and not selling products, this is the channel to consider supporting. 
The Outdoor Gear Review is sponsored by you all and nobody else. For this episode, folks, I am done. Take care, be well, strength and honor. What do you all think about that stove? It's definitely different. <laughs> Oh,